I'm John F. Kennedy, and my life's journey is one of privilege, challenges, and the pursuit of a better future. Born on May 29, 1917, in Brookline, Massachusetts, I grew up in a family that valued public service. My father, Joseph P. Kennedy Sr., was a prominent businessman and politician, and my mother, Rose Kennedy, instilled in me the importance of education and empathy. My early years were marked by both triumph and tragedy. I graduated from Harvard University in 1940, and my experiences during World War II as a naval officer reinforced my belief in the need for strong leadership and global cooperation. In 1946, I entered politics, running for and winning a seat in the United States House of Representatives. My time as a congressman taught me the art of negotiation and the complexities of legislative work. In 1952, I moved on to the Senate, where I continued to champion progressive policies and social justice. By 1960, I was ready to take on a new challenge, the presidency. As a charismatic and forward-thinking candidate, I secured the Democratic nomination and faced off against Richard Nixon in the general election. It was a close race, but I emerged victorious, becoming the 35th President of the United States. My presidency was marked by a call to action, the famous words, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, became a rallying cry for a generation eager to make a difference. I focused on civil rights, space exploration, and the containment of communism during the Cold War. One of my most significant accomplishments was the establishment of the Peace Corps, which encouraged young Americans to work in developing countries to promote understanding and cooperation. This initiative embodied my belief in the power of individuals to change the world. The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 tested my leadership skills to the fullest. Faced with the threat of nuclear war, I navigated a delicate diplomatic dance with Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev, ultimately defusing the crisis and avoiding catastrophe. My commitment to civil rights led me to propose comprehensive legislation that aimed to end segregation and ensure equal rights for all Americans. Although I faced resistance and challenges, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was a landmark achievement that reshaped the nation's social landscape. Tragically, on November 22, 1963, my life was cut short by an assassin's bullet in Dallas, Texas. My death was a shock to the world, and the legacy of what could have been continues to be a subject of speculation and reflection. My story is one of hope, promise, and the pursuit of a better tomorrow. I believed in the ability of individuals to effect change and in the importance of public service. Though my time was brief, I remain an enduring symbol of the possibilities and challenges of leadership on the global stage.